back to my channel. I am very excited about this video because it is a collab with Alexis Hillary here on YouTube and I'm very excited because this is my first collab ever and we are going to be showing you DIY Christmas decor for your room or for your house and it's really unique because she's doing a more glamorous pinky girly decorations while I'm doing kind of like the more traditional so you get to see two different kinds of styles and DIYs. Of course, my video is going to show mine, but I will have her link to her channel in the link down below in the description box, so be sure to not only subscribe to me, but to subscribe to her as well and to check out her channel and her DIY video. I'm very excited to be collabing with Becca because not only am I doing the whole YouTube thing, but she's also doing the whole YouTube thing so we get to learn kind of from each other. And this is my first ever DIY video. I don't know if you knew that, but this is oh, my really? first ever That's DIY cool. that I've ever done on my channel. So I'm super excited to play with some of my creative juices so they can flow into my DIY video. Right. Her room is definitely super cute, so any DIY she makes is going to be super awesome. So be sure to check her out, and without further ado, let's get on to the video. So this first DIY is definitely the cheapest and most inexpensive one to do. All you're going to need are some paint chips from your Glows or Home Depot, some yarn, hole puncher, and some stencils. I just used cookie cutters because I didn't want to go and buy stencils, but they do the exact same thing, so... Yeah, so all you're going to do is take your cookie cutter out and just trace it. I used the red paint chips for candy canes, obviously. And yeah, you're just going to want to kind of angle it out so you get multiple colors, like an ombre effect, so that it looks, it looks the best that way. So yeah, I just go ahead and trace my cookie cutter out. There are a million different designs you could do. Another easy one would be a Christmas tree or a snowflake with the blue or even like light bulbs you can make any color or even a star with yellow. Possibilities are endless. I just stuck with these and yeah after you're done having them all stenciled out it should look like this and then all you're going to do is cut them out. So once you're done cutting them out, they should all look something like this. And then you're, what you're going to want to do is get a hole puncher and at the very top make two separate holes and go ahead and make them like a few centimeters apart. I did two holes so that it doesn't flip when you hang the garland. But yeah, I prefer two holes if you can. On the tree I can only do one hole but you get the idea, you're just going to poke holes in there and then you're going to want to get your yarn or whatever you're using, ribbon or whatever, and then just kind of slide it through. And yeah, it's super easy and simple to do. And now you have your own paint chip garland that's super colorful. And then you're just going to want to hang it anywhere in your house. Obviously you can make it longer, make it different colors that suits the area you want to hang it in. But yeah, this is the finished look and I really like the way that it came out. I think it's super cute and again I said it's very inexpensive. DIY is also very inexpensive but also very cute. All you're going to need is a mason jar, some decorative ribbon, and some decorative paper. This one is called the Countdown to Christmas. So all you're going to really do is get the paper and cut them out into rectangles like this. And then on each rectangle you're going to want to write something unique and fun to do that you'd like to do in the winter time or anything you want to do before Christmas, which is really exciting. A few ideas I put is to go ice skating or to make a gingerbread house or to make Christmas cookies. I just think this is a really good way to get into the Christmas spirit and I really like the way it came out and like I said, this paper is really inexpensive. You probably have a ribbon laying around in your house as well as a mason jar. 
So definitely recommend this DIY, it's super fun. So the next thing you're going to want to do is tie a ribbon around the front and the top, I mean. <laughs> and I'm not the best at tying ribbons, so kind of just bear with me. But yeah, once you've done, the ribbon makes it ten times cuter. And I also, if you would like, you can put stickers and make this mason jar a little more festive. But yeah, I just stuck with the ribbon because I thought it was simple yet cute. So this is the completed look. Like I said, you can add more things to make it a little more festive. But yeah, it's really fun and cute. I really like it. So this next DIY is definitely the simplest one to do. It is a lit headboard garland. All you're gonna need is a garland and lights. I chose gold because that is part of my room theme. But yeah, like I said, you're just going to get the garland and put it all the way through your headboard. Mine had like slits in it so I could wrap it around, but you could also just lay it across and just use it different ways. This is my favorite way to do it. So yeah, I just wrapped it around my headboard. And after you're done wrapping it, you're going to want to take your fairy lights. I just got these at Target and you're basically just going to do the exact same thing and just wrap it around the garland. So once you're done, this is what it should look like. Again, I really like the way this came out. It was super cheap and very, very simple to do. And I really would like if you tried this one out because it's so inexpensive and I'm sure you have these products at home already. So this last DIY is definitely my favorite. It is just an ornament jar. And what you're going to need is a glass jar, some ornaments. I decided to get two different sizes so it gives it some more dimension, which is definitely something I'd recommend. So yeah, you're just going to take the ornaments out and again, it's the simplest thing to do. All you're going to be doing is filling up this jar, but a tip to do is to alternate between the big and small sizes. But yeah, I just feel like every time I announce a DIY, it's super easy yet inexpensive, which is totally true and I really like that about this video. So be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you appreciate it being inexpensive and simple yet cute. So yeah. So this is the completed look. Another tip you could do is put lights in there if you'd like. I really just like the way that this looks by itself. But yeah, very simple. You can use different colors to make it geared toward your room or your house. Really good idea, really inexpensive, and I really hope you like this one. Thank you guys so much for watching this collab DIY video. I really hope you enjoyed the five different DIYs I did. And if you want a more glamorous and um, girly take on these, be sure to please check her video out below and please go subscribe to her channel. Everything will be linked in the description box. So again, thank you so much for collabing with me. It's my first thank ever collab. You. I'm super you grateful. Well. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Till I get up, time is barely on our side